We're braving the cold for our lockdown trick day eight. Today we are going to do a shaft roll where we will stall the ball on our sidewall using yesterday's trick. And then we're going to roll the ball along the entire shaft, hit it with our hand, and then catch the ball in our pocket. So we first, we start with the stall, we roll it down, hit it up, and then we catch it. Now, one of the biggest tricks to this is if you can't seem to get it to roll all the way down the shaft, you can actually just punch your hand up and basically meet the ball with your hand instead of letting it roll the whole way. So that's gonna look like this. See how it didn't have so much time to be rolling on the shaft? That's just an easier way to kind of get the same effect. Now I'm getting out of this cold and I will see you guys tomorrow for day nine. It's day nine of being locked down, our last day in single digits. And because of that, we are going to do a very tough one. So today we are actually going to combo the three previous tricks that we did. So first we are going to stall the ball. That I believe was day six. Then we're gonna do a shaft roll. That was day eight. And once it hits here, we're gonna pop it up. Then we're gonna do day seven. We're gonna go around the ball and then we're going to stall it again. So just recap, stall, shaft roll, pop it up, go around it, and then we're gonna stall it again. Here we go. Nope, oh, hit it a little too hard. Stall. Oh, oh I tried to do something else. All right, last try, here we go. We'll get it right here. Boom, there you go. Have fun trying it, stay focused. I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 10. Our lockdown trick for day 10 is going to be this kind of cradle flip through. So the way that we wanna do this is we want to kind of almost face side across our face, lift our elbow up and then pull the stick underneath our elbow and then readjust our hand. So you're just like this and like this. Now, a big thing is if you have a regular size stick and you're young, you're gonna really want to kind of put your hands away from your body so that you can spin through without hitting your bicep because if your forearm is not longer than the stick, you're gonna hit right there like that. But so give it a try, have some fun and I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 11. Lockdown trick, day 11. Today we're gonna combo day 10's trick with day two's trick. So yesterday's trick was our cradle through where we go like this. And now instead of just readjusting our hand, we're actually going to grab the bottom and we're going to motorcycle spin, flip it, and then it just creates a nice little action like that. You can go with both hands, keep it really tricky though. Know, you can go like this, flip it through, around, come behind the back, and then of course, do it the other way. I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 12. Lockdown trick day 12. Today is our last cradle through variant. So today we are going to cradle through, readjust our hand, throw it behind the back, catch it one handed here, and then throw it back and catch it behind the back. If you can only catch it here, that's cool enough. But if you can cradle through, throw it, catch it, quick stick it back and catch it behind the back, that's what we want to end up getting. It's going to take a lot of practice. Don't lose patience. Make sure you stay with it. And I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 13. Day 13 of being locked down. Today we are going to do the crisscross, which is basically like a flip through. So our flip through is we catch the ball here, we turn our hands, we throw it through our hands and we catch it. The crisscross is a little different. Whereas as we catch it, we're just gonna turn our stick over like this, throw it up here and then catch it there. And so if you're feeling up to it, maybe you can do a flip through to a crisscross like this. That's your lockdown trick for day 13. I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 14. Lockdown trick for day 14 is the crisscross flip. So today we're gonna to do the same thing we did yesterday with our crisscross. We're gonna throw the ball up, we're gonna catch it, we're gonna turn our hands over. And this time, instead of just throwing the ball up, we're gonna throw the ball and our stick and we're gonna let the stick turn around our hands. If you can't quite get this all at once, practice just spinning the stick around your hands. So you grab it high by the head of the stick, you're gonna rotate it over like this, and as you do it, you're gonna let it turn over your hands and grab it. So practice just doing this as many times as you need to to get it perfect, and then as you toss the ball up, you just let that happen, and then you catch the ball. But so, here we go, as a whole trick, maybe remember we're gonna do a stall, catch it, boom, flip it around your hand, and then catch the ball. Stay patient, good luck, keep working on your tricks, keep working on the wall. Have a good one, I'll see you guys here tomorrow for day 15.